Creating more affordable housing is a necessity for the Maine State Legislature. The lawmakers say there are too many roadblocks for housing contractors and developers. As our Ryan Wooten shows us, these can be as simple as an elevator inspection. There are only three licensed elevator inspectors in the whole state who can perform acceptance elevator inspections, and they're struggling to keep up with the demand. According to the Deputy Commissioner for Maine's Elevator and Tramway Safety Program, Joan Cohen, acceptance inspections are needed before an elevator can be cleared for use in a commercial or residential building. Cohen says only one of those three inspectors completes inspections full time. Inspectors are finding it challenging to coordinate schedules with building owners, contractors, developers, electricians, and others. Cohen says inspectors try to fulfill requests within two to three weeks, but there are often delays. Maine State Senator Teresa Purse is the chair for the legislature's housing committee, which discussed the issue this week. She says although not all housing projects will need elevators, it's important to build smart and meet the extreme housing needs across the state. She says building multi-story apartments may give housing developers room to build more functional living spaces. These all don't have to be big things like in big cities, but four story you know, complexes across the state can be very appropriate. And if we build in places that have water, have sewer, have maybe some transportation, have people close to walking distance to a grocery store, it just creates a, a community and ability for people to live anywhere in the state. According to Cohen, there are 12 units that are scheduled for inspections within the next three weeks. 90 other buildings are in various stages of construction and will also soon need approval. Raya Wooten, News Center, Maine.